Well, hello, the internet. My name's Ness. Welcome to my kitchen. It's messy as fuck in here, and I can't be bothered to clean it up. What can I say? I'm stuck in the house just like everyone else during this uh, virus outbreak, and uh, it is not making me feel inspired to do housework. Not that anything ever really does. <laughs> if you're new here, welcome. You've come to the right place. If you're not new here, you've probably been directed here by one of the other video clips that YouTube stores somewhere along the sides of videos, but since I don't really know how YouTube works yet, you're gonna have to find those yourself. In this video, I will be giving you a brief explanation about bar itself, what it is, who's it for, who's it not for, what's dangerous about it, nothing, and what to expect in your class segments, and finally, what kind of kit you might need. So, let's start with number one, what the hell is bar? Imagine, if you will, three attractive humans. Human one, we will call Pilates. Human two, we will call ballet. And human three, who's is a little shorter because I hate human three, we'll call yoga. Imagine these three very attractive humans had a crazy drug-fueled one-night threesome and the love child of that evening. Well, that's bar. Such an asshole. <laughs> so bar is basically strength training. We borrow some exercises from Pilates, we borrow some positioning from ballet, nice and tall, nice and long, nice and controlled, and we do a bit of yoga stretching in the meantime. It is safe for pregnant women as long as your balance is still okay. Uh, if you're heavily, heavily pregnant, you might struggle a bit because we do do some work on our toes. So if you struggle with a foot or a knee injury, you want to take it a little bit easy. Don't bend as deeply, but you still should be pretty safe. Oh yeah, side note, I have the mouth of a sailor if you haven't worked it out already. And my music is the filthiest hip hop that I can find. Why? Because it makes me giggle. And two, it's got a great beat. Finally, in terms of kit, I will be teaching these classes with the following items. First, a squidgy Pilates ball. Now, I do not expect that you will have a squidgy Pilates ball, but if you are keen to get a squidgy Pilates ball, you can find them on Amazon. I think this one was £4.99. Um, but if you don't have or don't want a squidgy ball, um, you can take a shower towel, the biggest one you can find, fold it in thirds, and then roll it up. So you want a nice thick cushion for your lower back for some of the tummy exercises that we do. So make sure you have a big thick towel handy if you don't have a squidgy ball. The other thing I will be teaching with is hand weights. Now these are 1.5 kilograms. I'm a fairly fit human being uh, and I teach this six days a week and I use 1.5. So don't think that because it's only a kilo and a half, it's gonna be super light. Um, it will be light to start with and it will feel very, very heavy by the end, promise. You don't have to buy them. If you have, and I know you have, a bottle of wine. These average about 1.3 kilos each. So a full bottle of wine, or if you quite smartly, frankly, decide to drink it all yourself one Friday night sitting in front of the television, wondering where your youth and your life went, you can use that instead. I may have also tried a bottle of champagne. Side note, weighs in at 1.6 kilos, average. And I may have also tried a bottle of Tom's um, Bloody Mary mix, and that was only 1.2 kilos, and then I wondered if I was an alcoholic. I don't think I am. And I think that's about it. I have arranged these workouts into segments. So as you're going through the different playlists, you'll see arms. And I would start with arms. Arms, uh, each of the arms segments starts with a very short heart rate raising warm up things. It might be some leg lifts or some squats. Then there are some tummy segments. You've got plank series in there. You've got standard tummy workouts. You'll find segments that focus on the thigh area and you'll find segments that focus on the bum. There are also stretching segments in here. Everything you should need to either create your own workout or maybe supplement something else that you're doing or maybe, maybe you just want to look at me for 20 minutes. You can't be blamed. Anyway, enjoy. Work at your own pace. If you need to come out, shake something off, get back in, do it. Nobody's watching you. You could do it, you could do it in your underwear. You could do it 
you know, butt naked if you wanted to. I can't see you unless you want to send me the photo. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. And that's all for me. I will be uploading these as I'm filming them over the couple of coming weeks. So if you've done all the segments and you get a little bored, come back. I'll be putting more stuff up. I am doing this in my spare time when I don't teach my other classes. So uh, yeah, guys, we're all stuck here together. Let's make the best of it. Give it 110%. I don't know why I'm switching into sports talk, but uh, it feels appropriate for the moment. So get on to the field, kids. See you in the showers. Such an asshole. <laughs>